Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about the transitions in PowerPoint. So, uh, I had one PPT, the PowerPoint. So here we are having a different slides with the content. Now, I will show you how to apply the transitions for all these slides. First of all, the transitions and animations both are similar, but what's the, there is a small difference between the transitions and animations. So coming to the transitions, these transitions will be applied between the slides. The complete slide will be having the transition and coming to the animation, that can be applied to the content in the slide itself. Okay. So if you consider this example, uh, PPT, so this is a one slide and the transitions can be applied for this complete slide, not for the content in the slide. And animation animations means we can apply the effects on the content of the slide. So in this session, we'll see the transitions and in the further sessions, we'll go with the animations. So transitions means applying the effects. So just select the slide, go to the transitions. You can observe these transitions in the menu bar. So go to the transitions and here you can find a lot of transitions. See, these are all a lot of effects, right? So we can apply any one of the effect. Okay, just click on this one so that that effect will be applied here. See, this is the preview. Okay, this is a preview and see. This is one type of effect. This is a wipe out. This is a split, a reveal, right? And a random parts. So the slide will appear with this particular effect. And you can see in the left pan, the slides are visible. And at the slide number, below the slide number, you can see the star. So if there is a star, that means some sort of transitions have been applied for the particular slide. So you can observe here the star is available in the first slide, but there is no star in the second slide. So we have not applied any transitions for this second slide, right? If you apply the transitions for the slide, automatically the star will be appearing. Next, so you can select one among these things and you can give individual transitions for the individual slides or you can apply the same transition for all the slides. So here you can, up, you can see uh, in the timing, apply to all so you can give the transition for this one and up if you click on apply to all so automatically the same transitions will be applied for each and every slide right and also after selecting the transition you can change the effects options so for example go to the shape so here you can see if you select this one the slide is having a transition that uh, the circular shape is there and you can change the options effect options you, you can go with the diamond so automatically the uh, diamond shape will be coming or else plus see these are all different options for that particular transition for that particular transition coming to the random bars if you select the random bars again go to the effects option see vertical uh, bars or the horizontal bars so you can change the effects right so similarly if you go with the split again there are a lot of options vertical out horizontal in horizontal out vertical in so similarly, there are a lot of transitions can be applied. Okay, so so these are all the transitions. And once you apply the transition, so you can also give the sound. So there are some sort of sounds available in our PPT. So you can give any any one of them the sound, right? So you can select the sound. You can apply the sound, and also you can give the duration. So how many seconds the transition should be available? So if you go with this one, say the duration is around six seconds, right? And if you click on slideshow, so for completion of the transaction, it may take around six seconds. And if I reduce this one to some two seconds, and you can observe here, so within two seconds, the transaction will be completed. So you can feel the difference, right? So if you increase the, see, if you increase the duration, I'm going with the some seven seconds for this transition okay then this is for slideshow just click on slideshow so to complete the transition it would take the six seconds or a seven seconds which you specified in the timing right so you can also give the duration for each and every slide you can give or you can apply for the single slide and you can apply the same for all the remaining slides so i'll go with the two seconds and the next one is advanced slide on mouse click so if you uh, keep the check check mark 
on this mouse click so the transition will be applied only after the mouse click without mouse click you will not get it or you can also apply the transition after particular seconds you can specify the seconds so automatically after completion of that many seconds the next slide will be appear see for example i will go with this one so i have given some duration two seconds and i will go with the second one and i will apply the some sort of transition okay some sort of transition and i will take some two seconds one again and i will i will not give on mouse click i will not give on mouse click and this should be displayed after four seconds after four seconds now i will go with the slideshow the first slide happens after four seconds automatically the next slide will be appeared see okay so after 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 the given seconds automatically the slide will be opened right and if you click on the if you check on the mouse click so unless you click on the mouse the next slide will not be displayed see i'm just clicking on the mouse so then only the content will be displayed so this is the option for mouse click and after you can select any one right you can also give the sounds we can have the duration so here is a preview so you can see the preview so how it appears the first slide after first slide how the second slide will be appeared right this is a preview for each and every slide okay if you apply the same thing for uh, apply all if you click on apply all you can observe for every slide for every slide the same transition will be applied see for example you go with the, this one so this is the first slide and then the next slide see the same transition is applied for all the slides okay see so like this we can apply the transition for each and every slide okay of the ppt so like this the transitions are the effects that can be given for individual slides but not the content of the slide so these are the options we have seen for the transition so hope you understood this session so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much